Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Lemmings to the Tribes, and today we're going to glide like the wind in the Outdoor Tribe. And we don't have many tests for this one, so this one might not be complicated despite looking very long. We've got, uh, we do have one new test though, despite uh, the relative lack of things we've been given. Uh, we've got the Hang Glider, which uh, I assume, like anything that goes through the air, can be manipulated by the fan. But we'll just see how it works. Probably gets a running start and then glides off into the... That's the whole idea. We're going to be gliding today. So everybody looks... Uh, everybody looks pretty like, pretty much like they're going to be walking. Okay, so we're going to need... Is this where we glide? This may be where we glide. So we might be using... Okay, let's take a look at the level. We're going through here. Alright. Looks like... Looks like we're going to be cutting through. The frog may be a trap of some kind, so I bet we're going to be flamethrowing through the... So let's see. Alright. One platform across here. Flamethrow through here. And... Let's see. Okay, how are we going to help him out here, though? We got bees and frogs. I want to see if the frog is a trap first. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang glide probably from roughly here. Okay, no, that didn't really help. Oh, they walk up through that thing. Okay, so, all right, well that's that's kind of a problem by itself. So let's see what we've got going here. Maybe the hang glider can get way ahead of the others, and maybe I make a platform here to help him out. So, I'm going to try that. I'm going to see if the hang glider gets them going. Alright. Go ahead and hang glide, my man. There you go. Get way ahead of your comrades there. And I want to see... Okay. Just a little experiment real quick. I know I'm going to have to restart, but... Yes, that is indeed a trap. And that was disgusting. Have some manners, Mr. Frogman. Alright, so we're going to put one here. We're going to put a platform right here. I may not have given the guy the boost that he needs. Oh no, one died! I can't have one dying. That's just no good at all. So, let's see. How do we, how do we want to manage this? I think we could maybe... I don't know. So we're going along here. They're walking, they're walking, they're walking. Wow, 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 wow. That's... okay. So yeah, we're definitely going to be doing the flamethrower dance through here. That's pretty easy. Lots of easy... It's like it's like a quicker form of bashing, but I need somebody to work ahead. Whoa! That is supremely creepy. Is that a trap or is that just animation of some kind? That's wigging me out right now. It's wigging me out enough that I'm letting lemmings die over it. Okay, maybe what we can do is let one go ahead and then hold the rest back with the flamethrower. But I see roots here. This might be a tricky job to pull off. Is everybody going to be safe right there? Everybody is going to be safe right there, it looks like. Okay, there we go. All right, so here we go. We have one guy going ahead to do the work. It's just about figuring out... There's lots of ways... It seems like they've tried to innovate in terms of making one guy go ahead and do all the work. And you have to figure out what helps you do that. And then work with the rest of what you've got here. So now we can platform over this. I think he should... I don't think it'll stop him in his tracks or anything. There we go. So the frog... We are denying the frog a meal today. The level... This, this level should have been called Starve the Frog. Starving the Frog is what you want to do. And you want to go ahead and... Yeah, we'll go ahead and bash through here like we did before. Like we did last summer. And it should, it should only take a few to get through here. If I do it at the top of the curve there. Super easy. Ah, yes. Bashing with fire. A unique skill, but one that is necessary to get by in today's world. Now I gotta check this out. Now I gotta make sure nothing happens here. I have to supervise now. This is gonna be... This is really weird right here. I'm just not used to the animation. I'm I'm not used to the idea of background details in general in Lemmings 2, but it looks like he's just watching, so there we go. He can 
He's, he's allowed to just watch, so let's go ahead and free the others now. This might be difficult depending on what kind of crowd work we have to do here. Doesn't seem like it's that difficult. There we go, yeah. Just face the exit and boom, there we go. Another outdoor level done. Cram into that tent, lads. Cram in, cram in. We're gonna sleep for the night. We're gonna sleep off another great gold standard victory. Congratulations to the outdoor tribe on three levels in a row of gold standard success. Coming up next, we have... What's the next level? This should be number four now. Outdoor tribe actually moving fairly quickly. I'm, I'm liking this. Deliverance? Question mark? We have a kayaker. That should be just as good as swimming. Kayaker, archer, roper, and jumper. Okay, roper I have seen but have not used... Probably definitely going to be using that attractor for blocking purposes, but what do kayakers and archers do? That's, okay, this is going to be, this is going to be an interesting one. We have three minutes and five seconds to complete this level also. That's, uh, there's, there's a lot of wild stuff going on here. There's definitely going to be one solution to this level. Okay, so, alright, so we want to get, alright, so we definitely want to get, alright, I think we may want to let's see how let's see how the rope works here okay okay there's people dying while I while I sort this out okay so the rope the grappling hook comes undone after a while we don't have any uh, let's see we don't have any platformers or anything all right so we're gonna get kayaking now I thought I got you kayaking what's your deal okay so do you kayak immediately upon entering the water, or... Okay, there we go. We get that going. Okay, and you can actually save a few lemmings that way. That's neat. Okay, so now, what do archers do? Let's see. We're going to be playing around with archers. Okay. I don't see what an archer is really going to do for us here. Uh, just kind of fires arrows off into wherever. So we're definitely going to be using an attractor for sure. Okay, um, why don't we release you with a kayak? Oh, they do a different dance depending on which tribe it is doing the attracting. Okay, the jumper will probably be to release the attractor, I'm thinking. Alright. Um, yeah, don't want you just jumping into the river. That's probably not good. So, okay, okay, a tractor and jumper for the beginning of the level. That's that's what we've got so far. I think what we're going to want to do is... Alright, so go ahead and attract your little heart out, and then... Okay, so I use the kayak while that's going. Okay, and then what happens? Then what happens? Do you get out at the other side? Yes, the kayaker gets out at the other side... And then maybe what do I do from here? Do I pour some... Gonna be pouring some glue maybe? But glue will just go straight into the water. So I don't really know what I'm... Okay, why don't I... Why don't I make you rope for just a second? Um, why don't I make you rope up there? Oh, okay, alright. You walk along the rope line, I see. Let's see what the glue pouring does for the water here. Yeah, the glue just goes in the water. It doesn't really do what I was hoping for, which would be to just make a bridge. We have to make a bridge somehow with the glue. That seems to be what we've got going on here. But I'm a little fuzzy as to the details just yet. So I can't actually So I can't actually choose kayak until I can't actually choose kayaking until until they're actually in the water drowning. So there is that. Um, maybe I need... Okay, so I have two kayakers. Maybe I need to get it like... Maybe what I need to do is get a kayaker going and like turn him around somehow. Um, so yeah, I'm making a bridge here. I'm definitely making a bridge out of glue. That seems to be the idea. Can't do it from here. Wish I could turn him around. But as it is, he's just going to walk to the exit. 
And everybody, I want to see, okay, real quick, I want to see if everybody walks to the right when I release the attractor. Yeah, everybody walks to the right when I release the attractors. How am I going to get a bridge going here? Okay, so I had to look this up, and I'm a little embarrassed about it, but not totally, because I didn't understand how the relationship with the archer works just yet. So yeah, we're going to get a guy kayaking over to here, and we're going to, yes, yeah, set our attractor down here. There we go. All right. And when the kayaker gets out of the water over here, we're going to have it shoot an arrow. And that, that, is, whoa, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? That is what's going to give us our, uh, that's what's going to give us our edge that we need to get the glue going. So we're going to shoot this over. That might be a little too imprecise. So now have this guy release. Oh, no, that, well, okay. So how does that go along there? Okay, you pour glue, and then... Will that allow them to get in? No, it won't. It has to be more flush with the ground. But that's the idea. I did not understand the relationship that the archer had to the puzzle. Which, given that it's my first time seeing it, uh, I'm, not, I'm not too upset about not understanding that. But... So the archer, I guess, kind of gives you a little bit of extra ledge work, if need be. You can kind of you can kind of use it as a as a stepping stone for glue pouring. No, that's not the task I wanted that one to do. Gosh, sometimes it's so hard to sort out these little pictures down here. It's hard to get going with the one you want to get going on. All right, there you go. All right, so they're all going to come out and they're all going to go to the right. Okay, so now, all right, you be an archer and I'm going to take you. There we go. That's probably a lot better. So I'm going to have you start pouring glue now. Lay that glue down. That's still... No, it still needs to be a little lower. I'm not getting the lowness that I need. No, you need to... It needs to basically end right here. So I need to come back a little bit with the archer, I think. So... Come on, get out of the water. So... All right, try from like, try from like here. No, still meeting the land. Okay, so now I gotta, now I gotta do some fancy aiming. There we go, that should be better. Yeah, there we go, it didn't travel along the exit, so that worked. Okay, so that's kind of what archers do for me. I see now, I understand, having having actually had to consult reference material, which uh, I'm going to put my hand over my eyes and do not look at me, do not look at me. I had to look it up to solve this level in this commercial Lemmings game. I feel somewhat embarrassed. Yes, I do. Yes, we got a gold medal out of it, but it's not a gold medal. I'm going to feel good about it. That is tainted gold. And we are, it, but it's, but it's gold indeed. And we're still standing on the platform, so we're going to take our asterisk and move on to the next one. Which hopefully, oh, I may have gotten myself into something with outdoor. Outdoor may be one of the tougher tribes. It seems like it didn't seem that way at first. Friday's walk, ninety-nine jumpers and ballooners. Now, what color are those ninety-nine balloons? Uh, that might be important information to know later. But we've got stackers, stompers. Club bashers, which have a wider arc than your normal bashers. Friday's walk. A little walk on a Friday. Friday is a great day for a walk. Uh, assuming it's the end of your week. Sometimes it's the end of my week. Not always. About once every three weeks it is. So let's see what we have going now. So let's, do we just make everybody jump in certain places? Where's the... Wait, where's the, where's the tent? Oh, well, we've got a little bit of a lost something kind of situation. Oh, no, it's up the way. <laughs> Forgot that levels can scroll vertically for a second. So it's up here somewhere. So where are they going to walk to? That's Okay, we've got, we've got ballooners, and it looks like we need to get them into this spot right here. So let's go ahead and... Okay, we're going to need to bash into there eventually. We've got, we've got a platformer, I see that. Once we start kind of cramming them in here, oh gosh, 99 ballooners though to get them through here. Oh, hey, this is going to be, 
Okay, so we have the Roper going first. Let's see, let's see where they walk to. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a little bit fascinating. Are they gonna get up over this hump? Yes, they are. Wow. Okay, so nice little bit of mobility there so far. All right, boy, and the release rate on them is pretty wild as well. I notice. So that's a gap that they can fall through right there. So will I need to, will I need to plug that somehow? Yeah, that's a that's a gap that they can go through. All right, so maybe we can, uh, maybe we can make a uh, maybe we can make some interesting rope work happen here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. How do I want to? How do I want to keep them inside at first? I think I want to. I think I want to do this first by. All right. I think I'm going to be doing some creative roping here. Is going to be my solution to this at first, anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and have somebody. Once he walks up the way here, we're gonna have. No, that didn't go as well as I had hoped. Golly, pausing in this game is such an ordeal. Why is that? Why is that? That makes me so upset. Okay, why don't you bash through there? Okay, yeah. And then we can stop you with uh, with an I don't know what. How about a? How about you just have a have a balloon day? Okay, all right. So we got eight ropes. This may this may call for some precision here. I don't know if I can get up through this gap actually, so maybe we'll want to come through pop, pop, pop. We might be doing a lot of crazy roping here actually. I want to make it so we don't have to use a whole ton of jumpers all the time. That would be, that would be nice, but okay, so let's see. Alright, that guy's balloon hit and everybody is safe in there I think. Yeah, everybody is trapped in there, that's nice. So... All right, what do we want to do here? We want to start using our ropes, I believe. All right, let's let's rope to here. All right, that's perfect. That gets us over that gap. So I'm starting to get the hang of the rope a little better. I think I want to rope from maybe right here to up here. Nope, that's a little too far. Let's try it uh, from maybe like right here. No, well, okay, that's a wasted one, but... Alright, same sort of deal here. Alright, so that should get you up into there. That's pretty much what I want. That's not a trap, is it? It's just a plain old standard rock? Good. Alright, so... Oh, maybe I wanted him to go from there, though. So that would be one, two, three, maybe four ropes up to there? I'm going to get a little bit more precise with my roping and also maybe try to make a better trap. Let's see what happens when I stomp. Okay, so if I stomp this out. Alright, there you go. Alright, yeah, that's stomped in good and we can bash through that later. So I would stop that guy by having him jump. There we go. Yeah, it hurt your head a little, but you'll be fine. Okay, so now... Okay, I'm kind of getting the idea here. There we go. All right. Okay, so that gets over that little gap right there. And I think now we want to start plugging from about right here, maybe. Perfect. Okay, only one rope used there. That's good. So I'm maybe that I have to be a little precise with ropes. Okay, I'm going to make you rope from right there and send you... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to angle it a little this way. I'm going to hedge my bet, kind of. Okay, so then I should just be able to rope from wherever. Okay, all right. So the angles are working for me here. This is... Okay, this is actually kind of awesome when it works. Okay, okay, all right. I'm having some fun here with the rope. All right, so now I should be able to... Is that... Is that going to get me to the top? No, not quite. Ugh, okay. Okay. Um, um, oh dang, if I had angled it just a little better, I feel like I'd be in, in primo position here. But, uh, maybe I can go ahead and stomp out that rope. Let's, let's try it. Let's go ahead and stomp it out real quick. There we go, that's a little better. Um, that leaves me kind of in a spot to... Okay, I have a bit of a loop here that I can work with now. 
All right, I'm gonna try another one real quick. That's too, that's angled too hard, I think. Oh no, just barely not it. Okay, uh, yeah, I've only got one rope left. Uh, if I, if I blow this, if I blow it, then I blow it, and that's all there is to it. So, let's try it, let's try it up close. I don't think he's gonna be able to walk over that. I think I've effectively made myself a wall. Yeah, oh, dang it. Okay, one thing I did not realize is that my time limit is very, uh, I have a very ungenerous time limit here, so I need to fire when ready. And I need to be ready basically immediately. So I need to get this going pretty quickly. So yeah, fire up and then when he gets to there, start it up again basically. Okay, that's a good one. I like that. I like where that's headed. Okay, so from there we want to go up to probably here. There we go. I like that. And as soon as I get my last rope settled, I think that should do it this time. Yes, once I get my last rope settled, I want them bashing out. So where are my where are my trouble spots here? I need a Okay, yeah, I'm going to need to be bashing through here. So yeah, let's get club basher going because Oh gosh. Okay, good. He went to the right. That's what I wanted. I was afraid of that. I didn't realize they were all crammed into such a little tea tiny hole there there we go all right are they coming this way okay good they're all coming this way okay good they were all held in by something i think maybe that little flower right there might have been all that saved me just then so okay so now i need to platform no that's a stacker that would be terrible if i did that on accident so i need you going all right i think he will i think if he gets cut off i don't think he'll turn around I think he'll just go right to, yeah, he'll just move right along, which is really great. That's exactly what I need. I think I've made a zigzaggy pattern that will do it correctly for me. I think I want to make a stopper here just to expedite this, just to make sure they get in within the within the uh, prescribed time limit. Okay, I, that was me pausing again. I, I was afraid something bad was happening. But yeah, you got to really manage some time in this level. I, uh, I'm glad I realized that very quickly. Otherwise, this could have uh, this could have been a, an exercise. This could have been a much, much, much harder exercise. But I think they're going to make it to the exit in time, and I think that's going to do it for us today. This third level, uh, this one I managed to get by myself. It's it's a bit of a rope journey, uh, which was really cool actually. Got got me got me more used to the roper tool, which can be really which is can be really good when. Uh, when used well and correctly. Bunch of yippies as they're crawling into the tent there. We did it. We made it through another level and we saved all of them in very quick fashion, I might add, because the timer made us do that. So next time, I think that puts us halfway through outdoor already. So next time we'll move in on the second half of these here, these here foresty naturey levels.